Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I know technically I'll be releasing my roundup of February a little bit early, but February is a really short month. Um, so if I were to film it at the end of next week, which would be the end of the month, then it will come out like the beginning of March. And I, I don't know, February is just like a really, <laughs> it's such a short month. <laughs> It's like one of those months where you're at the beginning of it one second and then the next second you're at the end of it and it's weird because in reality it's not that much shorter than your average month. Not really a couple of days shouldn't make that much difference but I don't know if it's a psychological thing or what but February just feels like a really weirdly short month. Um, anyway. I'm going to do my round of February now, um, partly because then it will come out on the last Friday of February, which is also like a couple of days before the end of the month anyway. Um, and it will also, um, it, it, it's also though the only idea I have for this week, so <laughs> I'll just be honest with that one. Um, okay. So, so, um, in terms of February itself, as, I, as I've already said, it feels like it's been such a short month. It uh, feels like one second we were at the beginning of February, and now we're at the end of February. Um, I mean, obviously, I did my Valentine's thing last, last weekend? Was it last weekend? Or was it the weekend before? I think it, no, it was last weekend, because I've just, yeah, it was last weekend. <laughs> That's how short February is. Um, so last weekend, as of when I'm filming this, um, I did my whole Valentine's Day thing, and it was really nice. Um, very nice day. Um, I'm not going to go into any details, because it's none of your business, but it was a really nice day. I, I, it, was, it was good. Um... But other than that, there's not really been anything in February that has sort of really stood out. Um, I really want to get my hair cut again. It, it's getting to the point where it's sort of like, it's fine, like, mostly, but there are some areas where it's getting a bit long and, and messy, and I, I just want to get my hair cut again, so I can't wait until hairdressers are opened again. Hopefully, maybe sometime next month. We'll see. It's... One of the situations where we're still in lockdown now, um, but they are starting to say that some of the restrictions may be eased off at the beginning of next month, but they're not really giving money details as to what and like how long it'll take for things to roll out, um, whatever else. So yeah, it's, a, it's pretty, pretty, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get my hair cut again because it's just like certain bits of it are annoying me like at the back it's getting a bit long which would be fine if my hair like stayed flat but I've got this weird thing where one part of my hair sort of curls that way and the other part of my hair sort of curls that way so it's sort of like one yeah so it's like my hair is like doing that. So one is curling in towards my neck and the other is curling outwards. So it kind of sticks out a little bit and it makes it look like it's longer, which is really weird. Because like, it's not. It just looks like it's longer because it's curling like away from my neck instead of in towards my neck. So I'm like, oh, I really want to get my hair cut. But I can't because we're in a lockdown and I don't really want to do it myself because longer hair, you mess up a little bit. It's easy to sort of disguise it short hair no you, you can't really do that if you mess up it's going to be very obvious so I live on my own and I don't have anybody around who can cut my hair for me and get it sort of looking kind of neat so I'm like I need the hairdresser's help and so hopefully it won't sometime in uh sometime in March <laughs> 
<laughs> Although saying that, it has given me like a good guide for like how long I can let my hair grow out before it starts to annoy me in terms of length, which I didn't really have a guide for before because I sort of got it cut in November and then I got it cut again in December, so I only really gave it a month. Whereas this time it's been about three months, because it was the beginning of December that I got it done for the second time. The, the second cut was the beginning of December, beginning-ish of December. Um, and then it's gone through all of January and all of February. So about, yeah, pretty much three months. So that's good because like, that means I know exactly how often I'm getting a cut and you know, it's, it's affordable to sort of, like I can go the three months and then kind of go, no, I really need to get a cut now. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with that as a length of time. So yeah, you can, you can see how much like not being able to do anything. <laughs> is affecting these monthly roundups um so my cover guy has um finally got to a point where all of the stuff that was um going on in his life it's not gone away but it's become more manageable again so he's started looking into uh creating my cover for no doors allowed yes it is a little bit delayed but at the end of the day you know He's my friend as well, so I would much rather him do what he needs to do than, you know, pressure him. I mean, that, that, that's kind of like how I've always sort of felt about it. I mean, at the end of the day, he's my friend. I care about him much more than I care about uh, my writing career. And I do care a lot about my writing career, but I feel that way about all my friends. They always come first for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm... I'm I mean, as, as I said before, it would have been nice if I'd gotten out at the end of last year, but I'm not going to hold it against him because I know his life has just been mental and that's not his fault. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where, as I said, I care more about him because he's my friend um, than I do about worrying about, you know, where my next book is going to come out. Because at the end of the day, like I said, he's doing it as a favour to me. So, you know, I can't, I'm not going to be a dick about it, basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's kind of my, I know, very quick roundup of February. But like I said, February has felt like this really short kind of month. Um, like it's sort of just gone over like that. Um, so, because this is coming out the Friday before, I can actually do it properly. Um, from the 27th of February to the 3rd of January, Broken Before Use is going to be free on Kindle for everybody. Um, so it's it's getting its next um, free promo. Um, basically, from tomorrow of when this video comes out, um, a week away from when I'm actually filming it. <laughs> um, so that's like, I think the first one this year that I've managed to sort of time and remember and then uh, get sorted. Um, the free promo, the free book promo that I had for Echo, which was the one that I did actually have this month, was actually surprisingly good on the second day. Um, it really surprised me because Echo and Hyena Boy tend to be the ones that don't do as well. Um, with Echo kind of, I think, trailing behind quite a lot in terms of its numbers. I think it's not that far behind Hyena Boy still, but it, it's always trailed a little bit behind. It's, it's a little bit of a tricky sell. Because on the one hand, it is set in a fantasy world, in a very, very definite fantasy world. On the other hand, it's a mystery plot. And you can have these two things kind of going together, but the fantasy world is also modern fantasy, but involves fairies and nymphs and uh, pixies and, and all that kind of thing. Um, and there's not a human character <laughs> in the entire thing. <laughs> so it's kind of like modern epic fantasy world meets mystery plot. Um, so it's, it's a bit of an interesting sell. It's, it's one of those where I do, like, I do find it's tricky to know exactly how to market it because it does have that, that kind of, you know, it, it's a modern fairy tale in a sense, um, 
but it's a modern fairy tale that does go through with its its um, mystery plot. is very character focused. Um, and kind of treats the characters like they were in the real world, but they have magical powers as well. So it's yeah, it's it's one of those where it could do so much better if people kind of gave it a chance. But because it's a bit of a weird sell, it <laughs> it gets a little bit ignored. Um, but no, it, it actually did like on like on four of the five days it did about what it would normally do and then on one of the days it did like really well and I was kind of like wow that's that's surprising well done Echo congratulations um so I think as I've mentioned on the channel before Echo was written um on the, the suggestion of uh, the wonderful Jade Hamilton who wanted to see a disabled protagonist with telekinetic abilities um, who was also a single mother um, and I provided and then kind of went okay I'm going to turn this into a mystery plot <laughs> I'm going to put the I'm going to put the protagonist in a lot of danger <laughs> because you know why not there's no reason to kid glove your disabled characters. If you're having a disabled character in a story, um, then you should write them with, you know, obviously taking into to consideration the limitations that they might have, whether, you know, however those might be. So like um, in terms of Echo, Echo is in a wheelchair. So obviously stairs have to be thought about, um, you know, how, how is she getting in and out of buildings, um, you know, where does she live? What you know? What does she do with her life? How does she get around? Um, and very much that kind of thing. Um, so you definitely have to take their disability into account. But that after you've sort of taken into account the, sort of the practicalities of the situation you're in, you should just treat them like any other character. So you know, if Echo was a, an able-bodied character in her own story then I would put her through the exact same things I put her through as a disabled character, but I wouldn't necessarily be thinking about um, certain things that I had to think about because she was a disabled character. So yeah, that's that's very much my sort of policy when when writing characters with disabilities. Um, and I, I think that's another reason why Echo seems to be a little bit of hard sell for people, which is like really annoying because so many people, when I've they, like they sort of spotted it on Twitter, have been like, "Oh, that's that's really good. That's really interesting. Why don't more people write stories with disabled main characters?" <laughs> this seems like like a no brainer. Um, but I I do think it is one of the things that kind of makes it a bit of a a bit of a difficult sell because I don't want to one hundred percent always lean in to the fact that you know Echo is a disabled protagonist because that's unfair on Echo as a character because she is so much more than just her disability um but at the same time it is a selling point of the book so yeah it's it's one of those it's one of those um uh, but uh, you know as I said Echo did really well on the second day of her free promotion so <laughs> well done Echo um Fingers crossed, hopefully Broken for Use will do the same. I know its subsequent free promos have not done as well as its initial free promo did because its initial free promo was just like, you know, insane, absolutely insane. Um, but then it was a new release. Um, it's a horror book, so it, it hits a lot of the right uh, tick boxes. It's, you know, it's, it's a much easier book to market then the Never Eaten books, then Echo, likewise, um, Welcome to Marysville, where, which I still have to decide when exactly next month its um, next free promotion is going to be, but it's definitely going to be sometime next month. Um, both of them, they're, they're horror books. They're horror books with elements that people like from horror books. So it's very easy to sort of like go, okay, I'm going to market it this way or I'm going to market it that way. Yeah, it's so much easier because yeah, okay, they are unique because I'm a you know I'm a very unique kind of writer. I you know not 
rehashing. And obviously there is no such thing as a completely new story, but, you know, I'm bringing new elements to the stories and the, the kinds of stories that I'm writing. Um, but horror is a much easier genre to market, depending on, like, where in the horror scale you fall, because obviously there's lots of different types of horror, um, but it's a much easier market uh, it's much easier genre to market when you're kind of going, okay, it's fantasy horror. Oh, well, everybody knows what fantasy horror is. Whereas Echo is fantasy mystery. That could mean anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm fingers crossed. Broken Before Use does well in its one. Um, I mean, we are sort of getting to a point within this current lockdown where people are probably looking for new things, which probably helped echo a little bit, um, which is why, because I was tempted to do Broken Before Use a little bit sooner. And then I was kind of like, no, because people have probably now found their next thing. So, you know, give it a few weeks just to sort of, um, just to sort of give it, uh, give Broken Before Use a little bit more of a chance. Especially like, it, it would have been different if, uh, Echo had done well on every single one of those days, um, but because it was only one of those days, it's kind of like, no, let's let's uh, give it a little bit more of a gap. Let's, you know, give Broken Before Use its own sort of space to do it. Um, and then I was, and I, then I was kind of like, I want to do it the first weekend of March, uh, and then it was kind of like, oh, but that will be like halfway through March, well, not halfway through March, but that will put it further through March than, because um, obviously the, the this month ends next weekend and then next month starts on the monday so <laughs> it's kind of like okay let's work with that let's go with that and then make um welcome to marysville some point during next month and i know i've now like gone really off topic from rounding up february but there we go <laughs> rounded up february and then talked about book promotion that's that seems about right all right, okay, um, I hope you guys found this one sort of interesting. Um, as I said, I know February's not been like an overly interesting month for me. I've definitely had some very good highlights during the month. Um, they're not really stuff that I want to go too much into detail with you guys because it's like not really any of your business. Um, so with that said, um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to be talking about next time. I hope you're looking forward to Broken Before Use's next free promo. Remember, it's going to be starting the 27th and this is the 26th when this comes out. So tomorrow for those of you watching on the Friday. Um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!